was almost 20 years ago that we went to East Tennessee to take in a tradition called the Santa Special. Now, this is where Santa Claus gets out of his sleigh to ride an old time train, spreading holiday cheer throughout the state's coal mining country. The railroads are a winding, wondrous fixture of the Appalachian landscape. For ages, they've been used to haul coal from the mines of this region that covers parts of Kentucky, Virginia, and Tennessee. But once a year, these rails carry a traditional train on a very important holiday run through the mountains, a train called the Santa Special. Each year, the journey begins here in Kingsport up in East Tennessee with Santa's helpers, including the Chamber of Commerce, CSX Railroad, and several hundred volunteers. They show what the real spirit of giving is all about. We got uh, about 5,000 pounds of candy, got 18,000 moon pies, 18,000 little Debbie cakes, so we got a load of stuff. Raymond Gallion has been one of Santa's busiest helpers over the past 40 Christmases. This year, he helped collect over $150,000 worth of toys, candy, and school supplies, which were donated by businesses. That's for the kids up in the coal fields. A lot of fun, a lot of joy, and to see the kids' eyes when they get a toy, that's worth everything you ever do. Because they just light up like a Christmas tree every time they see Santa Claus and get a toy or some candy. We all get the joy out of it. We really like it. Uh, you look forward to it from one year to the next because you want to see if you do something a little better. To make this 50th anniversary ride better, this legendary steam locomotive came to pull the 10 cars and 1 million pounds of cargo. The Challenger is the largest steam locomotive still operating in America, and it was appropriately chosen to pull Santa's sleigh on the railroad this year during this traditional ride. You see, a locomotive just like the Challenger pulled the first Santa special back in 1943. We talked about it for the last couple of years, looking towards this 50th event, and we said, wouldn't it be great? And so, by golly, it's going to be great. We're going to do it. Last call for boarding. Finally, loaded with 15 tons of goodies and at least one ton of media, the Challenger headed north. Destination Pikeville, Kentucky, for an overnight stay before Saturday's 110-mile trip back south to Kingsport. This is Fremont, Virginia, one of the seven stops along the 110-mile journey through mountainous coal country. By now, two or three generations of children have come here to anxiously await Santa's arrival. What's he going to bring? Candy and all kinds of junk. All kinds of good junk? Are you going to get some? Yes. When the train stops, there's only a few precious minutes to score some candy and toys. For Santa's helpers, it's a challenge to distribute the goods evenly. Let me out, right and although Santa's here for the kids, sometimes the adults get pretty anxious for a prize catch too. But everyone gets to take home something. And for some, that means memories of coming here as a youth. It's about an hour and a half later down the line at a town called St. Paul, where even a pretty steady rain couldn't keep these people away from their date with Santa Claus. Santa Claus! <laughs> <laughs> to me, it was this excitement of seeing the train, and it meant that Christmas would be soon. And, right around the corner. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, it didn't hurt to get the but. toys and candy either, did it? Oh. Well, back then, I don't remember getting much. <laughs> <laughs> In earlier years, I'm told, this was the only Christmas some Appalachian children got. Times may have changed for the better, but the thrill of greeting Santa by railway is one that never runs out of steam. I got a magazine hat, golden grams, a bunch of candy, everything. Chrissy, tell us what you got. A baby doll. A baby doll, is that what you wanted? 
happy? In a dog. When most of us were children, we listened for the sound of reindeer on rooftops at Christmas time. Here, I suppose, they first listened for the welcome whistle of Santa's train. It's hard not to get the Christmas spirit when you hear this train coming, especially when you think about all the memories it brings, the goodwill, and, of course, the looks of joy in the children's eyes.